Hello everyone, welcome to my new course module, a Linux administration with troubleshooting skills. My name is Shikhar Verma and I am the instructor of this complete course module. I am having 12 years of IT industry experience and had been the part of many MNCs and global projects. I am also a professional IT trainer. My skills are a Linux administration, Ansible, Shell scripting, Perl, HP Unix, AIX. So on the basis of my technical skills and many years of expertise, I have designed this course module. For the designing of this complete course module, I have collected and compiled so many data from various websites and book. So in this course module, I have tried to cover almost all the major topics of system admin right from very basic, very beginning to the server level. And this course module consists of more than 220 lectures with 25 hours of course material. It consists of a lot of theoretical PPT presentations with practice lab session. I have created so many scenario based lab exercise. So who would be the target student for this course module? Any graduate or BTEC pass out, they can be the part of this course module or anybody who wants to you know build up their career or anybody who wants to start their career they can also be the part of this course module so prerequisites for this course module simple english understanding you should have a laptop with internet connection and you will be guided throughout the course module and you will feel comfortable in understanding various linux tasks so friends what is the course content i have segregated or divided this complete course module into several sections in each sections we have you know different different lectures so let's start what all the course contents we are going to understand in this complete course module so i have started this course module that is with a very basic introduction in the introduction we'll discuss about the linux basic concepts introduction history and unix history and uh, history of unix and linux so we'll understand about what is the history and all those things. In the next section, we are going to discuss about the Linux commands tutorials. So in this section, we are going to understand what are various commands, simple, simple commands. If you are, you know, started learning Linux. So what are the, you know, very simple commands which can be used to fire on the box? So various commands we have discussed in this section. In the next section, we'll discuss about the simple bash profile, variables, standards, input, output, redirecting. That's also very good, the basics of the Linux admin. In the next section, we have discussed about the user administration. User administration is an important part of the Linux administration. So in this section, we discuss about uh, what are the various you know, type of groups, users we have and how we can create the users with different you know properties so all these things we have discussed in this user administration part and in the next section we have discussed about the permission in linux so that's a very important or we can say the basic of linux so we have you know covered so many lectures in this section so basic file permission user based permission permission types how we can change the permissions the special permissions sticky bit set uid all those things we have understand in this section. In the next section we have discussed about the Linux cron tab, which can be used to you know schedule any job. Next is your Linux find command. So basically find command is very important command. Whenever you have to, you need to find out what are the big files which is taking space from any file system. So the easy ways to that you can use the find command with various options we have. So we have understand how we can use the find command. Next is your OpenSSH, overview of OpenSSH, what are the some features of the OpenSSH. So all these things we have discussed in this. The next is your Telnet, process management, kernel modules, what is kernel and their features, kernel with their options. So all these things we have discussed in this section. The next section is very important that is disk partitioning file system creations. So in this we have discussed about how we can you know create the partition on a disk if storage team is allocating a disk so what are the various commands which can be used to you know used to find out or scanning the new disks on your system and a lot of various lab session also the next section is very important that is logical volume manager administration 
so that's an important topic and lot of you know lectures we have so lot of you know theoretical sessions with practice lab sessions to you know understand the concept of lvm the next is also important that is rpm that is red hat package manager so whenever we need to install any package or remove any package upgrade verify query so we always prefer to use rpm packages so how we can use rpm commands and how we can query the different different you know packages that is installed on your systems so this is what we have understand in this section the next would be your yum that is yellow dog updater modifier so with the help of yum you can install any package which will resolve the dependencies as well so we have discussed so many lectures on yum and a lot of lab session as well the next is your simple you know linux uh, os minor upgrade suppose if your system is running with 6.2 version and if you want to upgrade with 6.9 so how we can do it so that simple lab session we have created here so that you can have better understanding and better concept for that the next is your you know ftp that is file transfer protocol in linux 7 rhl 7 so what is the overview of ftp installation how we can do the installation configuration of ftp and various lab sessions the next is also you know apache web server so that's a very important topic we have discussed here a number of lectures i have tried to cover in this section so basic setup verification package files so all those things we have understand in this section and lab session as well dns that's a very important topic in any organization there is a great role of dns so what is the concept of dns that we have understand and also you know how the dns works if you have any environment this also we have understand and various lab sessions practical lab session in which we have understand the configuration how we can configure a dns in your environment the next session is very important that is your ftp and i would say that all the section that we have covered in this complete course module is very important the next is your nfs that is a network file system so overview of nfs installation and the configuration of nfs and with lab sessions the next one is your automatic installation with using kickstart if you want to install any linux operating system and you want that it should be automatic then you can prefer you know this kickstart so that's a you know feature of you know linux we can say that so very overview of kickstart features configuration installation so all these things we have understand attended and unattended installation the next is your networking concept of rhl7 so we have understand about how we can check the status of ethernet and how we can add a new ethernet card activate deactivate and lot of more things we have discussed related with your network configuration the next is your linux performance monitoring so that's a very important topic you know that as a system admin if you if you need to you know diagnose any performance related issues any box so you should be aware like what all the different subsystems that needs to be monitored so in this section in this section we have discussed that what are the various commands which we have which can be used to you know narrow down if we have any issue the issue could be like your high disk utilization maybe your memory is high your swap utilization is high so we have understand the dairy various performance monitoring in linux the next is very important topic that is troubleshooting linux boot problems so we know that whenever we boot a system so there are different phases of the linux system booting so if your system is not booting properly if it got stuck somewhere so what are the different ways which can be used to troubleshoot your linux box so first of all we have understand the step by step booting process right and then we have understand we have created so many you know issues on that i have i have you know corrupted your grub i have corrupted the mbr i have corrupted some critical files from your booting file systems and then i have booted the system the boot system is not coming up then how we can troubleshoot with that so all these things we have discussed in this section the next is your the overview of rhl7 so what new features we have with rhl7 how rhl7 is different from the previous you know version of linux so we have discussed and various rescue mode lab session your troubleshooting mode your you know emergency mode so these are the new you know features that has been introduced with rhl7 kdm overview of kdm how we can enable the kdm the next session is your the overview of our this red hat satellite 6.2 so i have just given an overview in the overview i have completely given the overview of satellite servers the prerequisites uh, registering the server so all these things we have covered in this so with this you know section 
you can even configure the RH this red light red light satellite 6.2 in your organization as well. The next is your related with the security that is managing SC Linux security. So introduction of SC Linux, SC Linux security concepts, features and how we can change the SC Linux modes, uh, the booleans we have, audit logs, troubleshooting you know SC logs. So all these things we have understand in this section. The next and the last is your backup and restore overview of the backup various commands for the backup type of backups the full backup incremental backup your differential backup dumb command to take the backup so all these things we have understood in this section so the lot of topics i have tried to cover in this complete course module and i keep on adding the new new topics in this complete course modules so friends that's all for this introduction about this course module thanks bye bye